In with Brexit and as the negotiations continue in Brussels for Brexit, European Union's chief Brexit negotiator Michael Barnier has hinted towards possibility of a trade deal. But this comes after Britain and EU agreed to continue talks to try to reach a trade agreement that has proven to be hard to achieve so far. Comme l'a dit la présidente Ursula von der Leyen, notre responsabilité c'est de continuer cette négociation très difficile. Jamais dans l'histoire de l'Union Européenne nous n'avons négocié avec un pays tiers un accord aussi important. Le commerce des biens et des services, la pêche, l'énergie, les transports, la sécurité des citoyens. Jamais nous n'avons négocié un tel accord dans un délai aussi court. Ça fait à peine neuf mois que nous négocions. Il a fallu euh, au moins cinq ans pour tous les précédents accords. Donc nous allons donner toutes ces chances. C'est notre responsabilité à cet accord qui est encore possible. Un bon accord équilibré, euh, ça veut dire euh, deux conditions qui ne sont pas encore remplies. Des conditions de free and fair competition, fair and free, équitable et ouverte. Les deux vont ensemble et un accord qui garantissent un accès réciproque, je dis bien réciproque, des marchés et des eaux. Et c'est sur ces points que nous n'avons pas encore trouvé avec les Britanniques le point d'équilibre. Donc nous continuons à travailler. Merci beaucoup. And the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has said Brexit talks are in the very last mile. Exactly, we are on the very last mile to go. Uh, but it's an essential one. And we want a level playing field. We want a level playing field not only at the start, but also uh, over time. And this is the architecture we are building. And uh, we are fine about the architecture itself, but the details in it, do they really fit? And these are crucial points because, again, it's a matter of fairness. It's a matter of uh, fair competition. And we want to ensure that. So there are three sticking points, with the first being fishing rights, the governance of the overall deal and the competition regulations. All of these issues remain to be addressed still. The UK and EU have been carrying out talks for a post-Brexit trade negotiations deal since March, with an aim to secure a deal before transition period ends on 31st of this month. Now, after the transition period ends, both sides will commence trading by WTO rules. Now, what happens? In case of a no-deal Brexit, prices could go up for the goods the UK buys and sells from and to the EU. The EU would impose tariffs on goods coming from the UK. Experts suggest a no-deal Brexit would damage the economies of Europe as well, sending shockwaves through financial markets and sour chaos through the supply chains across Europe and beyond. There have been many missed deadlines. Two key issues still stand locked. And the question that arises is, will there be a deal at all before Britain officially exits the European Union?